my second son, my last, has followed his brother to the Elysian fields. In my heart I know I must continue the work of the gods, but they take so much, and at last my soul begins to doubt. Pethos Verdes the Third. So much so, he didn't even put architect of this place and loyal to the gods. And now, to take out my frustrations of that terrible boss fight on your poor, poor head. Your head is mine. Your head is mine. Give it to me. Give it. You have acquired the architect's son's head. Electric Boogaloo. Now where's the hole I jumped down this time? You know, for quick travel. To ease my pain. The entirety of Pandora has been just annoying. It's just like, we gotta have puzzles! Fine, just do them well. And for the most part, they're not that bad. It's just at points where it's like, the camera gets in the way. Or the camera doesn't show things. And then they do the annoying thing, it's just like, we're not gonna show you this or that, but what we will do is show you that you've been here before! <sighs> so stupid. And then it's just like, yeah, with previous bids, like the... Yeah, we've been here before. I, I'm i pretty sure that that would have happened anyway, yeah. Ooh boy, time to talk to Hades. You killed my pet. I will... Or something, I don't know. Fuck off. You annoy me. Lord Hades. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself, the souls of the dead, who stand ready to fight by your side. Oh Take boy. this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. You've acquired the Army of Hades. Press the up directional key, select Army of Hades, then press L2 to activate. Now this is an ability I can get behind. Just extra damage all around. Only it probably takes up a lot of, yep, it takes up half your magic gauge. But hey, anything that eases my burdens burdens that this game inflicts. Stabby throw. The gods, traitors. Go forth in the name of Olympus. By the order of Zeus, we cannot inflict war upon one another except for when we do. More powerful souls. Yep, I'm definitely upgrading this next. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and dump it all into here because I remember that, or at least I suspect, that they take away your experience if you dare to die to their horrible design features. Against the Death Archers. Oh yeah, but I'm pretty sure that was beforehand, but still. I am in fear and pain and misery. I could have sworn that there was a way to go. Oh well. And we'll never know what was beyond, what was with those archers because the game decided, hey, we're gonna do this here. And I just thought it was just more of its bad design. Oh yeah, just get across with the archers insta-killing you. And guess what? I freaking did. Because screw you, I think little of your design. Might sound harsh, but hey! This game annoys me so.
Okay, now I need to line it up with the door so we can shine light on it, more than likely. Let me just go ahead and lift this up. Obviously not. Maybe. Now we just need to find the thing so we can drag it around. Oh no, we need to line it up with... I am very confused. We're going extra dimensional! But wait, isn't the door... No, the door's there. No, the door's here. Well, I'm confused. I think... Aha, I think I know. Why can't we just go the other way? You know, it's just like, I think I figured it out, and I have to go all the way around again. Again, this isn't that bad. It's just like, after everything else, after everything else, I don't rightly care. Line it up with this? Yes! Now we go around. Have to find it again. Hoity 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 hoity. Oh, ha, ha, I am. Oh, the pain and the miseries. They never leave. Um. No, now I don't get it. I don't get it. I thought this was going to be, aha, line them up so we can actually shine the light, but apparently not, because the fucking statue doesn't move. Oh, you have to move the statue, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, now this is just getting annoying. Let's do it one by one and see which one works, I guess. Got to find the right door, then we turn the dude. Now we just have to turn the dude until we see the thing and go whoop de doo. And now, we actually get closure for this. It's like, what is the shiny light? The shiny light is this! Apart. Go ahead and save just in case because the game is rude. It's just so much easier to find bad design in games. It's so much easier to just go like, why couldn't they have done it better? It's just so much easier. Wait, damn it. Why does it have to be like, ha ha ha, we're gonna have mana chests and health chests, and then we're gonna have chests that are both, but you can only get one by doing the proper thingamajigs and proper jigs, and it's just like, meh. Go 
go into my crotch, Kratos. Surprise, asshole. I did a thing. Seriously, those do not match. And now the light leads to... Another lever! Yay. Let us hope that... Why? Just let me be in control of my destiny. We didn't have to see that. You could have just had it... Stay, but now I'm looking the wrong way, and who knows, maybe enemies will come facing me. They're like, surprise, the camera screwed you. That's how low I think of this game right now. It's like, when it comes to the bad aspects, the bad aspects hurt me so. They hurt Your me a lot. is impressive, Kratos. But be warned. Once you ascend to the upper levels of the temple, you will not be able to return without Pandora's box. Like... I was expecting that. Bitch. As Kratos rose through the massive temple constructed to guard Pandora's box, he realized it was a monument not only to the gods of Olympus, but to the madness of the mortal who had designed it. He'd conquered the lower floors of Pandora's temple, but what lay in wait above would test even the greatest form. Test even the greatest. I've already been suffering greatly. Pre-rendered cutscene and hands just go through our uh, blades. Go. Wonder what that means. Ow. I just I just have this one combo that's literally a press and a hold. Press once to start it and then hold. be a magnificent fall dancer. Oh, so other people got this far as well. Oh, great. Tits. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart, and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life 
is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god. Destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, that reminds me of a scream from Warcraft 3. Shield would befit the newest servant of the God of War. Yay, more censoring. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the God of War I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. Joy. Well, let's read. The cliffs of madness lie before you. In my grieving, I fear I may have designed a maze of no true way out. If I am right, may the cruel and caring gods show you the way. Pathos Verdes the Third, once loyal subject of the gods. So essentially, Pathos Verdes, uh realized that the gods were evil long before Kratos ever did. <laughs> it's like, I find it hilarious, though, that Kratos is taking all these uh, nice little boons from the gods, even though it's a god that put him in this place to begin with. What's that? A god uh, be basically betrayed me and made me hate everything? Well, don't worry, I'll just trust these other gods. They won't do anything bad, I'm sure. And of course, level up my new favorite magic. It uses a lot, but damn. Uh, more powerful souls at 10,000. And this thing has four levels, I think. Maybe even five, maybe. I forget how many, uh, oh, level five. Yeah, there are five levels. So you know what? We're gonna get a head start. We're gonna start leveling this thing up. Why? Because it is the best one. I just click it and things die. And that's my favorite type. I don't have to worry about being bamboozled. I don't have to worry about anything. I just unleash hell. Quite literally, considering Hades.